help people get out of their own way, to get from here to there, from where you are to where you want to be with nothing getting in the way. But the thing that's always in the way is you. So we have to get you out of the way so that you can actually be the person you want to be, do the things you want to do, have what you want to have, create what you want, achieve your goals, all those yummy things. So how do you do that? I'm going to give you eight ways to actually start getting out of your own way. Okay. So the first one is to stop finding reasons and excuses to not do what you say you want to do. Okay. So problem is that we usually, you know, we, we can come up with lots and lots of ways to not do what we say we want to do. We, we, say that life gets in the way, the dog ate the homework, the kid was sick, the car broke down, I had too much work. They sound like reasons, but they're really excuses not to do what you say you want to do. Because if you were committed to what you wanted to do, you would do it. If you look around at your life, you will see what you feel committed to. You might be committed to watching two hours of Netflix every night, or you might be committed to writing for two hours every night, because what you really want is to be an author. So super important to think about that because as long as you're committed to things that don't get you where you wanna go, don't help you be who you wanna be, then you're gonna struggle. You're gonna be in your own way. So consider your commitments and where you're committed. Now, when something happens like your kid gets sick, of course you gotta put things to the side, but despite that, you might be able to 15 minutes before you go to sleep, write. Okay. So if writing is your thing, happens to be mine. Okay. So stop having excuses, finding reasons, having excuses to not do what you say you want to do. Number two is to have self-integrity. Do what you say you're going to do. Okay. I've talked about this before. If you lack self-integrity, you're going to feel lousy about yourself. And so you need to um, when you tell yourself you're going to do something like sit down and write every day for an hour, then you need to actually do it. Otherwise, you're going to start feeling so badly about yourself that you'll never do it. And so, you know, you don't trust yourself. You're going to tell other people that you're going to do something and you'll stick with it, but you don't stick with the things that you say that you're going to do. So the habit voice in your head is going to keep saying, you know, oh no, do it the way we've always done it. Let's just keep doing what we've been doing because that feels safe, right? So it wants to keep you safe. So when those reasons and excuses come up and you say, well, today I don't really feel like it. I have a headache today. I don't think I'll do what I said I was going to do, even though it's going to get me where I want to go you think the habit voice. You say, I hear you, I hear you, and I know you're trying to keep me safe, but you know what? I've got this, I've got this, because you do. And then do what you told yourself you were gonna do. Okay, number three is to stop controlling every detail. Know the outcome you want. Let the universe handle the details. I was just listening to Mike Dooley on a Hay House program talk about this. Broad strokes, you know, I wanna be happy, I want to, um, fulfill my purpose. I want to, um, to have great wealth. Just leave it in broad bro brush strokes, okay? And just know the outcome you want, right? So if you really want to be a writer, then okay, then, you know, maybe that's, you know, the outcome, but you don't have to know exactly how you're going to get there other than maybe writing every day, right? So let the universe handle the details. Then, you know, like I said, just focus on the end result. Then you can add in some details. But when you add in details like I want to write a book, then be open to it being different. Be, allow the universe to bring you the pathway, the doorway, the, the how of how, what's going to happen. Okay, so you may have it in your head that it's going to be a certain way and happen in a certain time. But that really um, restricts you from 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 getting what you want and you're standing in your own way because you're rigid and you're trying to control everything. And you know what they say that if you've got, um, you know, something, you know, a broken toy, if you're a kid with a broken toy and you're hanging on to it tightly um, and you want your parent to fix it, you have to open your hand. You have to release it to somebody who can actually fix it. And the same goes for the universe, your God or whatever you want to call it. You have to release the problem. You have to release this to, to the universe and let it come up with the details. 
Okay. So just, you know, have a broad idea of where you're going and what you want to achieve your destination and then leave the rest to someone else. And as I said, it could be that there's something better for you. Often that's the thing. We don't get what we think we want because there's something better for us out there. So one of the affirmations that I really love to use is this or something better is now coming to me at the perfect time and in the perfect way for the highest good of all concerned. And that's pretty open. So I want to be a writer. I want to make my living as a writer. Okay. I see myself, here's the detail part. I see myself writing books, but if I say this or something better is coming to me, right? I, I allow the universe to bring me what's best for me. Then it may not be on your time and it may not show up the way you think it's gonna look. Number four kind of goes with self-integrity and that is to take action. Um, I talk a lot about inspired action, which is when you combine your passion and your purpose and you get inspired, um, but also be willing to just do pretty much anything, to take any kind of action, to just get the energy moving in the direction you want it to go, because you have to overcome inertia. And once you've overcome inertia, then amazing things happen. But as long as you stay sitting still and doing nothing and not putting any any effort out there into the world, then nothing else is going to happen. So you know, don't be afraid to start knocking on doors and see what happens because the knocking on the door starts the energy. The sitting down every day to write starts the energy moving. So you have to get out of inertia and you have to start taking action and that action will breed more action. And it, the energy of the action goes out and will create things that you may not have even thought of. All right, number five is to remind yourself of your big why. If you know why you want to achieve something, if you know what your purpose is, you can use that purpose as your GPS. You're gonna follow the directions of the GPS. So pay attention, don't ignore the signs because usually what happens to people is they're so busy um, they're so busy that they're not paying attention. They say, I want X and, you know, or I want to achieve this goal, but they're not paying attention to the signs that are coming their way. But it's the why behind something that drives you forward. It's the, the reason why this is important to you, why it's meaningful to you that is going to drive you forward. Okay, so that's the purpose part. Okay, number six is think positive th thoughts. Think positive thoughts. Yes, of course. Your negative thoughts and limiting beliefs hold you back more than almost anything. But, but your positive thoughts are a super powerful tool and they typically negate your negative thoughts, even if you have a lot of them. So, so you want to be thinking positive thoughts and, and be, folk, you know, be having more unlimited beliefs but don't just um, try to ignore your negative thoughts and limiting beliefs, okay? When they come up, um, if you ignore them, there's actually energy there. It's like you're pushing against them and that keeps them there. So it's, um, and it's not like you don't hear them or they don't exist. It's like a little kid who doesn't want to listen to their parent. And so they say, I'm not listening to you anymore. And nah, 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 blah, 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 I don't hear you, but they do, they hear you, right? Instead, what you want to do is actually say, okay, I hear you and I'm not listening anymore and put your focus somewhere else. So it's a bit like when the kid turns on the TV or their video game and now they really don't hear you. And no matter what you say, they're not listening at all. That's what you want to do, okay? So you're gonna take those negative, hear those negative thoughts and just shift your, your focus to something positive. Number seven, is to stop beating yourself up. As long as you're doing something, that is something. We all fail, we all have bad days, it's okay. Just do it differently the next day. You have to love yourself, you have to be kind to yourself. Otherwise, you're gonna just feel so bad that it seems like it's hardly worth trying. You know, a bit like I said about the self-integrity. So just keep going. Tell yourself you're doing the best you can and just do it a little better the next time, okay? 
but do not beat yourself up. It's not going to help. And that keeps you in your own way, because as long as you keep telling yourself you're not good enough and you're not doing it well and you're a failure and you're so stupid and what were you thinking anyway, which are negative thoughts and negative beliefs, but that's you beating yourself up. It's the mental self-talk that's not helpful in the least and keeps you stuck. So stop doing that. And the last one is be who you need to be to do what you want to do and have what you want to have now. Don't wait to be that person. Everyone has it backwards. They're saying, I have to be this person in order to do what I want to do. And, or I'm sorry, that's backwards too. I, I have to, um, I won't have to have X in order to do Y and then be Z. But that's not it. It's you have to be Z in order to do Y and have X, okay? So you don't wait to be the person you need to be. You commit to being that person right now. If you, if you wanna be a writer, you commit to writing because that's what a writer does. Paint if you wanna be a painter. Create something to sell if you wanna be an entrepreneur. Be kind if you wanna be kind. Be happy if you wanna be happy. You get the idea. It's it's, it's kind of like fake it till you make it, but not really because you want to put yourself into that identity and build that identity hour by hour, day by day to begin showing up as that person. And when you show up as that person, you will get out of your own way because if it's kind of like I, I've said it many times, you know, when I decided to have a morning routine and I said, I'm going to get up at 6.30 in the morning. And I used to hit the, the snooze alarm every time and lose that morning time, right? That I had to do other things. And um, one day I went to bed, one night I went to bed and I said, from now on, I am the type of person who wakes up at 6.30 when the alarm goes off. It does not hit the snooze button. I am not a person who hits the snooze button. And the next morning, Alarm went off and of course I, by habit, I wrote, hit the snooze alarm. And then I popped awake a little more and I said, I said I wouldn't be that person anymore today. And I'm not that person. And I turned off the snooze alarm and I got up. And I've been doing that every day since. So you have to decide who you wanna be. If you wanna be a writer, be a writer every day. If you wanna be an entrepreneur, be that entrepreneur every day whether it's brainstorming ideas or making contacts or setting up things for your business, creating a website, what's it going to be? But do something that where you are being the entrepreneur. Okay, so that's eight ways for you to get out of your own way so that you can achieve your goals, manifest, you know, achieve your dreams, make your dream, achieve your goals, make your dreams real, manifest what you want. Okay, so put some of these to use, put them all to use. But I, I would love to hear in the comments below um, what you have done to get out of your own way, because really you can achieve anything you want. You can get from where you are to where you want to go. You can get from your situation to a new situation. You can get from who you are to who you want to be by simply getting out of your own way. Now, a lot of it's going on up here. It is up here in your head. It's your thoughts and your beliefs. And, uh, that's what holds you back and that's what keeps you stuck and not doing taking action okay so it's time to get out of your own way let me know what you're doing to get out of your own way with a comment down below and if i can help you in any way please reach out i am nina amir the inspiration to creation coach i do indeed help people get from where they are to where they want to go with nothing getting in the way including themselves and I'm a certified high performance coach and inspired, inspired results coach and an author coach. And it would be my honor to work with you. If you want a 30 minute um, strategy session with me to talk about whether we're a good fit and what my high performance coaching program is like and how it might serve you, I would love to speak with you. If you um, are interested in personal and spiritual growth and a community and group coaching, then check out the Inspired Creator Community. The link's above. Check it out, the Inspired creator community where we're all about stepping into to um, our best selves and doing what we need to do to create what we want to have um, the it's a community of um, transformational mind body spirit writers as well as just people who want to 
uh, move forward personally and spiritually, by which I mean kind of metaphysically and using ancient wisdom, mysticism, those sorts of things. So the, the personal growth is the high performance coaching curriculum. So um, if you fit those criteria, you want personal growth, you want spiritual growth, you want to write a, a inspirational, motivational book, then the Inspired Creator community might be just the place for you. Uh, so check that out, the links above. And until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.